Toms are a staple shoe. I already have glitter Toms, calculus Toms, crochet Toms, and a really worn down pair of classic Toms that I'm going to turn into a pair of splatter paint Toms. First, I am going to sew the holes closed. I secured the stitching with a simple knot. The splatter painting will also help hide the appearance of holes. I am using both 3D fabric paint and regular matte fabric paint, but you can use whatever you have on hand. To prevent paint from getting inside the shoes, stuff them with newspaper. Also, make sure to line your work area. Since I used up all my newspaper stuffing the shoes, I decided to use college spam mail because it is just about as unwanted as newspaper these days. I squirted all my colors onto a plate to make the process easier. I used Q-tips to splatter the paint because I have ruined so many paintbrushes with fabric paint since it dries quickly. The splattering process is super easy. I flicked the paint off the Q-tips to begin with and then I started just dropping the paint on in bigger dollops. The regular fabric paint was easier to just drop on because it was runnier and more watery than the 3D paint, which created a cool, puffy 3D effect when dry. Make sure to splatter paint from all angles so that the entire shoe canvas is covered to your liking. When you are satisfied with your Jackson Pollock wannabe hashtag artsy shoes, let them dry for at least three hours. Now you can stomp around in them. In my case, I destroy things in the process. Oh well. <laughs>